What happened when two of the biggest names in the tech industry join hands? Apple X, SpaceX. This may become a reality through a mission that you may have heard of, Inspiration4. SpaceX is flying four private citizens to orbit on a three-day mission called Inspiration4. And Apple hardware will be key in a first-of-its-kind research to study what's happening during the flight. These products include Apple Watch Series 6, iPhone 12 Pro and iPad Mini 4. As selected by SpaceX. Brace yourself, because in this video we will be filling you in with the latest news from the world of space. Elon Musk's SpaceX is planning to send four private citizens into orbit on a new three-day mission called Inspiration4. And among other things, the crew will be conducting health research to help further human exploration in space. If all goes according to plan, the mission will mark a new milestone in the budding commercial space industry, where companies owned by billionaires like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have been racing to normalize space travel for people other than government astronauts. The mission also aims to raise $200 million for the St. Jude's Children's Hospital to help fund cancer research. Jared Isaacman, a trained pilot and a wealthy founder of a payment processing company, will helm the mission as its commander. He bought four seats on Crew Dragon and picked three fellow passengers. Haley Arkenhaw, a cancer survivor and a St. Jude's physician assistant, was tapped for the mission through St. Jude. Cyan Proctor, a geoscientist and a former NASA astronaut candidate, won a video contest hosted by Isaacman's company, Shift4, for her seat. And Christopher Sembrowski, a data engineer at Lockheed Martin, is filling the seat reserved for one of thousands who donated to St. Jude. His ticket was passed on to him by a friend who won. The crew hopes that their mission will inspire others around the world to never give up and never keep pursuing their dreams of reaching the stars. For one crew member in particular, this is her life's dream come true. Proctor, whose father worked on the Apollo mission program for NASA, has always wanted to be an astronaut. She was a finalist in NASA's astronaut selection process in 1999, but ultimately was passed over. More than a decade later, she is living her dream. The flight is also a foray into what SpaceX hopes will be a new era of space. One where regular people, like the crew of Inspiration4, can travel to space. The mission has a dual goal of inspiring and conducting science in orbit. The Inspiration4 website notes that the spacecraft's path above Earth will cross over 90% of a world's population. Additionally, the crew plan to engage in experiments designed to expand our knowledge of the universe, with a goal to allocate the maximum possible mass to research above what the crew needs to live and survive in space. The science is meant to address projects that are otherwise unable to overcome the high barriers of traditional space-based research, the website adds. The experiments are wide-ranging, covering everything from studying the genome to balance, blood, organs, behavior, and much more. The participating scientists also pledge to make all biomedical data open to the public in a repository for research purposes. Each of the four crew members of Inspiration4 was selected to represent one of the pillars of support. According to Apple Insider, the hardware of the Cupertino giant will play a significant role in the all-civilian crew mission of spaceflight on the human body. It's a pretty Apple-heavy set of projects, says Jimmy Wu, a senior biomedical engineer at Trish and instructor for the Center of Space Medicine at Baylor College of Medicine, which is really great because the product speaks for itself. Each Inspiration4 crew member will wear an Apple Watch Series 6 to collect research-grade ECG activity, movement, sleep, heart rate and rhythm, blood oxygen saturation, and cabin noise data. The Dragon capsule will also capture data on light intensity during the mission. Researchers will be able to correlate health vitals captured on the Apple Watch and environmental data captured by Dragon with cognitive test results. These results are gathered during the mission as each crew member performs a series of tests using a cognition app running on the iPad Mini 4 tablets. While Inspiration4 does not include docking to the ISS, the crew will fly in a flight-proven Dragon capsule that was used for NASA's SpaceX Crew-1 mission. 
The Neurocognitive Performance Study is led by Dr. Matthias Basner at the University of Pennsylvania Perelman School of Medicine. While the Inspiration4 crew sample size is very limited, data collected from the research study can be combined with data from participants on future space flights as well. Crew members will use iPhone 12 Pro as the data acquisition platform and screen for viewing images from an AI-guided organ scanning system called Butterfly IQ+. This ultrasound tool is designed for non-medical experts to use. Data from the study will be used to help determine if non-medical experts can self-acquire clinical-grade images without guidance from ground support while also providing a timeline of biological changes before and during spaceflight. Other tests include the collection and examination of drops of blood using a vertical flow immunoassay, a VFI device, balance and perception evaluations, and biomedical sample collection. Following the Inspiration4 mission, the five investigators behind the Human Health Research Study will be able to pore over the data and learn for the first time how non-professional astronauts are affected by space travel. The small sample size of Inspiration4 means we may not see specific data that could be identifiable for privacy purposes after the mission, but information captured will be the beginning of a larger collection of data gathered between a number of space flights going forward. Inspiration4 is largely made up of civilians with no professional space experience, although the crew has undergone basic training to get a sense of what to expect. But this time, the crew will spend three days orbiting the Earth, as opposed to the brief suborbital flights of Bezos and Branson. The Inspiration4 mission marks the 128th flight to date for SpaceX's workhorse Falcon 9 rocket, and the second to fly within a week. The booster doing all the work this time is one of SpaceX's newest rockets, which now has three flights under its belt and previously carried two different GPS satellites for the US Space Force. The veteran space flyer whose exterior is slightly sooty from its previous trips to space and back rolled out to the launch pad a few days ahead of its planned launch. Perched atop its launch pad, the same launch pad that once hosted the Apollo moon missions and NASA's storied space shuttle program, the Falcon 9 was put through its paces ahead of launch during a test known as a static fire. The splashdown is scheduled three days after the launch, and as the previous Crew Dragon flights, the spacecraft will splash down off the coast of Florida so that the crew and science samples can be swiftly and easily returned to the NASA Kennedy Space Center. With that, we have come to the end of the video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about these new developments in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until next time.